a good testimony service Wednesday night, amen. Got to hear about the good things of the Lord and what He's doing for them. For folks, amen, and how he's touched them in their lives, amen. It was good, it was encouraging, amen. amen. And, uh, we had a Marion Friday, so we'd like to recognize uh, Mr. and Ms. Uh, Ross, amen. Give the Lord a hand clap for that.
there's just a few more days to labor. Still gonna praise you. 
praise you, God. You know what? God's looking for somebody like that, brother. Amen. Right, that will praise him. And it confuses the devil. Amen. Because he says, I done thrown everything that I possibly can at him. I've thrown diabetes. I've thrown high blood pressure. I've thrown cancer. I've thrown leukemia. I've thrown stuff to destroy him. But yet they still are praising him. It's confused. He don't know what to do with somebody that knows how to worship the Lord. David. He's made stuff many times. Murder. Adultery. But he repented if you read the book of Psalms. If you read the book of Psalms. Uh, but David was a priest. Oh, Saul would call for David to come and play the harp. Because uh, Saul disobeyed God. And the Spirit of God left Saul. And the Bible says that God sent an evil spirit to torment him. That's what the Bible says, Saul. And he would call for David to come and play the harp. Because when David played that harp, there is peace. That came to Saul's soul. Amen. There was peace that came to his mind. Let me tell you something. Even a lost man, if somebody anointed starts praising God, peace starts coming to him. Come on now. Even somebody that's tormented by an evil spirit, when somebody's truly anointed of God, and they start worshiping God and praising God, they get peace. Come on now. You got to hear what I'm saying. I'm just trying to follow the leadership of the Lord tonight. Glory to God. I just want what He wants for us tonight. Amen. Amen. Lord, help us stand in. Come on. Help us stand in. Amen. Help us lay our thoughts aside. Help us lay our feelings aside and help us stand in. I'll tell you what, folks. When you're a preacher or minister or so forth, when you get up here, over the years, you have to learn this. You gotta lay your feelings down. You gotta lay your thoughts down. You gotta lay your opinions down. You gotta take up what the Word of God says. Listen, brother, I preach to people that could not stand me, but yet I had to preach to them. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? I preach to people that literally hated me, but yet I had to preach to them because that's what God called me to do. I had to lay down my feelings, my insecurities, my worries, my, my thoughts of the matter, and obey God. Listen, folks, we got to lay all these things down when we come in to what I'm trying to get at and worship God. What goes on out there will be out there when we get outside of these doors. All those problems are still be there. Glory to God, unless God moves where you're praising Him. Come on now. But we need to lay these things aside and enter in tonight. Glory to God, God's wanting to do something. Amen. 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 Uh, we got one sitting here with effects of a stroke. I believe God can heal her. How many believe that tonight? Uh, come on now. We got one that's sick. Still filled with sickness with chemo and stuff back on the back. I believe God could take that sickness. Amen. Amen. We got one worried about her child. Amen. I believe God could give her peace and that child get a hold of her here in a little bit and let her know that everything's all right. How many believe that? Amen. Amen. I could go on and on. There's some here struggling with things. Uh, Glory to God, there's some of you trying to lay things down. Uh, but yet the devil's got his hand on you saying, no, you need this, you need that. But I'm here to tell you, you've got to lay it down for Jesus. Uh, whatever it is, you've got to lay it down for Jesus. Whether it's alcohol, whether it's drugs, whether it's pornography, whatever it may be. Glory to God, uh, it may be. Glory to God, something. Glory to God, it may not even be what we call major. But God wants you to lay it down. You got to lay it down for him and come into his presence and say, Lord, I'm here to worship you tonight. Lord, I'm here to praise you tonight. Lord, I'm here to magnify you tonight. Lord, I'm here to glorify you tonight. Huh? Oh, come on. We can get some deliverance in our soul tonight. Amen. Come on, friend. Little child. 
can't preach without you. I can't do anything without you, Lord. So help me tonight, God. Use me for your will to bring glory to your name. I don't want people to see me tonight, God. I want them to see you, Lord, in me. And God, I give you the glory. And God, I give you the honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give the Lord a big old hand clap of praise for you. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'll tell you what, folks. Thank you, Jesus. We need to be making sure that we're ready. Huh? We need to be making sure that everything's all right between us and Jesus. Amen. You know, you could go to church. And I'm all for going to church. Amen. I'm all for it for being there when the doors is open. But let me tell you something. Hallelujah. We got to make sure that our heart's in the place that it should be with the Lord. Amen. Because going to church, Brother JR, uh -huh. that ain't going to get me in. Amen. That's what I do because I'm on my way uh -huh. there. Amen. Amen. That's what I do because of glory to God that my, my heart, to, glory to God, is right to, with Him. Amen. Amen. But that ain't going to get me in. What's going to get you in is trusting Him. What's going to get you in is believing Him. Amen. Let me tell you something, glory to God. It takes uh, the blood being applied uh, to your life uh, right. to get in. It takes being born again to get in. Amen. It takes glory to God when God convicts that heart. And I don't care whether you're in church or, or going down the road or in your, if you're in the grocery store, hospital, or wherever it is. And that Holy Ghost conviction uh, comes to your heart. And you start crying out. That's what it takes. Amen. God forgive me. Here I am. I'm in a mess. A, a sinner lost and undone without you, Lord. I can't make it without you, Jesus. That's what it takes. Amen. And glory to God. And then we got to keep our lamps trimmed. Brother JR, Amen. we got to keep them filled with oil. Amen. Amen. Matthew 25, first verse. Matthew 25, first verse. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took in their vessels with their lamps while the bridegroom carried. They all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go you out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, Say not so. Lest there be not enough for us and for you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they were ready, went in with him to the marriage. And the door was shut. And afterward came also the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Lord, we thank you for your holy and precious word. I pray, Lord, that you just help me to deliver it in the manner you have it delivered. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you, Jesus. They spoke. They had their lamps. Huh? And they were going to meet the bridegroom. But they didn't have no oil in their lamps. Their lamps was empty, Sister Bernadine. 
And then you had the five that was wise. Uh -huh. They had enough oil. I mean, they took enough with them. Let me tell you something, folks. Hallelujah. I can't run off of yesterday's oil when it's gone. Come on now. Do you hear what I'm trying to say now? I can't run off of the yesterday's oil. I got to make sure that my lamp's got plenty of oil in it and I've got enough oil. Glory to God to make it. How many knows that the oil represents the anointing, the Spirit of God? Amen. If we ain't careful, we'll get in the world and our lamps will burn out, brother. Glory to God because we're too busy doing this and that. We'll still go to church. We'll still go through the motions. But we're too busy and we're not filling our lamps up at all. Amen. Huh? And then we're caught in that shape when he returns. And we're caught like that. We're not going to enter in. And we're caught like that. We're not going to make it in. Do you hear what I'm saying? The lamps, they got to be full. Oh, our wicks has got to be trimmed and got to be burning. Glory to God, any sin, it's got to be out. It's got to be trimmed away, brother. Glory to God, every once in a while, glory to God, we need to say, Lord, purge me. God, purge me. Come on now, when you purge something, a plant or whatever it may be, you take off the dead leaves, the dead stuff, so that it'll grow, so that it'll, it'll grow and blossom. Amen. 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 Huh? We got to be purged of those flesh. We got to be pur purged of those desires of the flesh. God, purge me. God, purge me. Get these things out of me. God, get these desires out of me. Get these thoughts out of my mind. Get the stuff out of my heart. Get the stuff out of my life. Lord, purge me. Help me to be who you call me to be. Help me to be who you ordained me to be. Help me to be, God, the person that you put me on this earth to be. Lord, help me to keep my lamps full. Help me to be ready when you come. Amen. Because once he comes, there's no time to get ready. Amen. Amen. The five foolish weren't ready. Amen. The bridegroom came. The five that was ready went in with the bridegroom. But the five that was not ready, they were left outside. Huh? Come on now. You say, well, i got plenty of time. No. Tomorrow's not promised. Amen. It's not promised, folks. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Whatever may be standing between you and God, it needs to be taken down today. If you've got a Goliath in your life, you need to do like David and slay that giant. Get it out of your life, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Come on now. We'll use it as an example. We'll use Goliath as sin in somebody's life, brother. As an example, whatever that sin is. There's your Goliath. Whatever standing between you and God and defined what God's called you to do, that is your Goliath. And you're going to have to slay it in the name of Jesus and take it down. Huh? Uh, doubt. Unbelief. Come on now. That's good. Judgmentalness. Huh? Yeah. Come on, we can go on down the line, whatever it might be. Uh -huh. And let me tell you something. A control spirit is a spirit of witchcraft. Amen. Ooh. Huh? I've seen that in the churches many a time. I've seen where they try to exercise being lords over the flock instead of being the overseer God's yeah. called them to be. Come on. Huh? Oh, come on, folks. Is your lamp full? Uh, come on, man. And I believe if your heart's crying out, it's getting filled. You say, I'm not in no perfect state. Well, let me tell you something. You ain't got to be in the perfect state for that lamp to be filled up. If you're crying out, it can be on its way being filled. If you're crying out, it can be on its way being filled up. Amen. As long as you're crying out, God, here I am. God, purge me. God, cleanse me. God, wash me. God, help me. Come on now. And I mean with a sincere heart. Amen. We can't just be a, 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 a halfway minded about things. We got to be fully persuaded. Amen. About this thing. Are you going to serve the Lord or are you not? Come now, who are you going to serve today? Are you going to serve Jesus? Or are you going to serve the devil? Or are you going to serve your alcohol? Are you going to serve your drugs? Are you going to serve your ungodly sins? Or are you going to serve Jesus? Come on now. Who you choose to serve is your Lord. Huh? 
you choose to serve Jesus he's your Lord but if you choose to serve sin then you're a servant of sin huh it's all about choice tonight. See, God gave us a free will, Brother Earl. He gave us a free will to choose. But remember, every choice that we make, there is a consequence. Whether it be good or whether it be bad, every choice we make, there's a consequence. Uh, people don't realize it, Brother you say, well, it just affects me. No, it affects everybody that's in connection with you. It affects your family. It affects your loved ones. It affects your spouse. It affects your kids. It affects anybody that's in contact with you. It affects your church. Oh, come on. What? It sure does but you're part of that body. And any decision that you make will affect that. Come on now. Is that just affecting you? That's the reason going to God. Lord, help me to make the, the right decision. Amen. Huh? And I've made some poor ones in my life. You know what I've done? I suffered consequences in my poor decisions. I suffered it. But God was merciful. I hope this is helping somebody tonight. It's helping me. Amen. I hope it's helping somebody. Come on now. Let's get our lamps full. Let's get them trimmed up and be it burning for Jesus. Huh? Come on, the five went out to get oil. They come back, it's too late. It's too late. Huh? When he switch that eastern sky, he calls his people home. It's too late. When he splits it, he comes for his people. Bob says the dead in Christ shall rise first. Those that's laying out in graveyards are don't matter what color, what race they are, what if they died believing Christ, they're gonna rise first. Come on now, that's the thing about God; He's no respecter of person. Listen, he, he don't have no respect to me because a certain color of my skin or a certain color of your skin. He's no respecter of person. Amen. It says the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then those which, which remain are going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Huh? Corruption will take on incorruption. But the thing that the Lord God is this, if you're not ready, when he comes, then you're not going. Huh? <coughs> Come on now, folks. You say, well, what, why are you preaching to me? This? Because, Lord God, it's time, folks. He's near. He's coming back soon. And it's time that we get our house in order. Amen. I had a dream one time. This little lady was a preaching in that dream to me. And she turned around and she pointed at me, Brother J.R. She said, it's time for you to get your house in order. I never will forget that dream. Time for me to get my house in order. It's time for us to get our house in order. What house? This house. This right here. This right here. It's time to get it in order. Get these lights filled up. Jesus. Amen. Let it shine. Uh, come on now. Uh, if I had some candles in here tonight, I'd show you something. Uh, somebody got a lighter or something, light this thing up. I'm sure you there. Somebody light this up a minute. It'll be, get it burning. Uh, little old light. Uh, Come on. Look at it. A little light shining in It's still daylight outside, but look at the lights off our room, Brother JR. I'll look at that. Huh? There's darkness around it. Look at that. It's shining. It's shining. Right. Look at that Huh? Well, there you are. To look in the mirror. There you are. Your light shining. Keep the lamps full. Huh? Ooh, I feel it. I feel it. 
Keep him out. Keep him full. And keep that light shining. Amen. Keep it burning. Come on now. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Come on now. Keep it burning. Don't let it burn out. How does it burn out? When you let your lamp go dry. Has anybody ever used them on the kerosene lamps? Well, I remember when we was kids. See, we'd go two, three weeks sometimes without eating power. Come on now. We are poor folk. And the lights, they don't care you got money ain't, you don't pay the bill, they cut you lights. Right. We go two or three weeks and that'd be that'd be our power, a little old lamp. Put that little lamp oil in it. Moms, it had that oil. And that wind was trimmed. It burned, you'd have light. Be a pretty school light, set it up on the thing you look at it. You could read by it. Pretty old lamp. But when the oil started getting low, uh -huh. the wick couldn't pull that oil up no more. Oh. It started flickering. Oh. Good. It flickered for a little bit. Uh -huh. Then a little smoke came off of it. Then <laughs> eventually, they go out. Ooh. Don't let your light go out. I know trials come. Uh -huh. Battles come, temptations come. But don't let your light go out. Keep your lamps full. Get in the Word of God. Study. Pray. Seek His face. Seek Him. Be like the five wise. Be ready when He comes. Huh? Then when the midnight, midnight hour comes, the Word of God and the bridegroom comes, you'll be ready to go. When Jesus returns, you'll be ready to go. See? I can't make it in off your oil, Brother J.R. Huh? You won't have enough for you and me both. Come on now, your lamp will go out. Huh? You can't make it in off of mine, my lamp will go out. Huh? You got to have your own oil. You got to be filled with His precious Spirit. You gotta have them lamps trimmed and burning. Come on, I can't make it in on grandma's religion or papa's religion or mama's religion. And I had some people in my family that feared God. I had a little Holy Ghost filled grandmother. She said, The Holy Ghost keeps me. Amen. Come on now. And she'd walk that little walking cane. She'd put you straight with it too, but she'd say, The Holy Ghost keeps me. Amen. But I can't make it in on grandma's religion. And I had her pray for me many a time. I'd be sick when I was a, 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 a child. And she'd come out there and grandma would pray. And she'd start speaking in tongues and that sickness would leave. But I can't make it in off of grandma's religion. I can't make it in off of what she had with Jesus. i got to have my own relationship with Jesus. i got to have my own walk with Him. The Bible says work at your own salvation with fear and trouble. i got to do the same myself. you got to do it yourself. I can't give it for my wife. My wife can't give it for me. i got to live it for myself. You say, well, my wife ain't doing right. Well, you got to live it in front of the lady she'll do right. You say, my husband ain't doing right. Well, live it in front of the lady he'll do right. We got to live it for ourselves to make it. Amen. 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 Uh, Amen. I can't make it. Off of Mama's prayers, her religion, her walk, her prayers kept me here. Kept me on. I still believe her prayers that she's prayed over the years is keeping us. First thing I thought when Mama died, I said, who's going to pray for me? Who's going to pray for me? Huh? Who's going to pray for me? I call Mama, I tell her all my problems. I know she got tired of hearing it, amen. Now I ain't had to listen to him in JR. <laughs> Take it in on their walk. I watched my daddy suffer three and a half years, JR. 
Do my dialysis three times a week, five, six hours at a time on that machine. And I'm not trying to be gross or nothing, but I washed his toes right off his foot. I seen him suffer so much, but I'd see him walk out there with a And he didn't know all the songs. He'd sing yes. He said, My Lord keeps record of all the days that I'm down here. He walked with that cane. Was he perfect? No, he wasn't perfect. But he had faith. He loved the Lord. Mama would get worried sometimes. He'd say, He said, Ruby, he said, Lord, take care of us. Our cabinets would start getting by Ruby. Lord, take care of us. Huh? But I can't make it in on his walk. Huh? I got to walk it myself. Now I found that out. God, I got to do this myself. Yeah, I need the prayers of people. You need my prayers. I need your prayers. We need the encouragement of one another. We need to lift one another up. We need to encourage, not discourage or, or shove each other down, but encourage. See, there's too much to shove people down today. Discouraging. The Bible says for us to edify one another, to encourage and lift up one another. Come on now. It didn't say anything about us tiring one another down. Hallelujah. Now, there's some people has got thoughts in their life, but not be honest honest, they love the Lord, but they need some help in them areas. Instead of destroying them, we need to help them. And I know there's those that don't care, brother. They just don't care. They'll do what they want to do, and they don't matter who they hurt or what. But yet we got to pray for them and lift them up before God. I got some now. Lord, I ask that you save them and lift them up. They once walked with you. They once talked with you. They once were close to you, but Lord, now the devil's uh, pulled them out. They've fallen by the wayside. Come on now, do you hear what I'm saying? And we got to be got to be able to help them. Don't take me wrong. Try your best to help them. But yet take thought for yourself. Amen. If there's a weakness in you, you got to watch out. Because going to God, if you're battling what you're battling with, it may just pull you down in it. Come on now. Let me tell you something. I'm all for witnessing to the lost. I'm all for witnessing to all those that are sick and sin. But if you're battling with something in your soul right now, and they're battling that. It's best that you wait till you're strong enough to go and witness to them. Because if not, they may pull you down with them. Come on now. Well, preacher, I don't believe that. Well, don't try it. I've seen it happen too many times. Well, I'll go over. I was bound by drugs. I was bound by this. I was bound by that. I'll go help them. But yet somewhere that little thing's still slithering on the inside, brother. Then they get around them doing their drugs, get around them doing their alcohol. The next thing you know, there comes the enemy tempted. And I'm talking about people on fire for Jesus. Amen. Right back. Right back. Hi, huh? make sure you're strong enough to rescue them. Or you may need rescued yourself. I'm being honest tonight, folks. I know it don't sound all pretty and this and that, but I'm just trying to be honest. Work out your own salvation. I can't get nobody delivered if I need deliverance in my own life. I can't get nobody set free if I'm needing set free myself, brother. Amen. First, I gotta get the get the the beam that's in my own eye out. Come on, I gotta get my problems. Gotta get what's got me on my own eye out. Then, Lord God, those uh, how it may have the mold or something in there, then I can go help them, brother. But until then, I can't see clear enough to help them. Amen. I can't see clear enough to help them. Amen. What you need to do, get them lamps full of oil. When we get them full of oil, we keep them full of oil. Then there's no room for anything else to go in that lamp. Do you hear what I'm saying? Get it full. Then go help them. Then go help the drug addict. Then go help the drunkard. Then go help those that's battling the things that you battle. But first, get your lamp old. Get it full of oil. And get the wick trimmed and have it burning for Jesus first. Then you can help them. Amen. Come on. Preacher, I don't like this kind of preaching. Well, it's all right. Come on now. I come up under some preaching that some of you probably couldn't stand under. Huh? It was rough. They'd tire you apart and go to salt to you and they'd leave you laying to dry. Amen. 
Huh? Glory to God. I remember Brother Johnny Harris. I love him. Glory to God. He preached heaven sweet and hell hot. When you went to his service, glory to God, you was ready to get you was ready to repent. Amen. You was ready to get right. Because you didn't want to miss out on heaven. And you sure didn't want to go to hell. Amen. Amen. Come on now. How many knows that tonight? Glory to God. Uh, get those lamps filled up, folks. Uh, see the light's still burning. Amen. And it'll burn till that candle's done. It'll burn till that's done. Your light will burn till your old's gone. Amen. 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 empty, I can't help you. Yeah, we'll pray. She won't let you. She won't, she'll probably pray. Will we let that lamp go? And it goes dry. We'll be like the five foolish. Even though you love me, even though you give your life for me, I can't have them in your wall. Because it won't be enough for you and me both. Hey, preacher! Cass and you all, I just got enough to make it myself. I got to get you on. But don't do like the five bush that waits too late. Because while they were out getting it, while they were out getting it, the bridegroom came. And they were left outside. So get it before he comes. Get it today, folks. Get it today. Get it today. Get it today. Hallelujah. Can somebody give me a bottle of water, please? Get it today. Somebody's there. I'll take it. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a big old hand clap. Praise the Lord. House of Gold, is that it? House of Gold. You know it, really. You ain't got it. It might be a piece somewhere. I don't know. Come up here. You know the word singing, brother. That's a good altar call. Come on, brother. You can use this microphone, my lady. So I'll give a memory. I'm going to make an call. Come on up and you feel the Lord get on with you. Or you need prayer And the ghost left my poor soul say. And the living in this world in a house of gold. And now my Hey. 
free. Temptations, Amen. whatever it may be, he can take care of. The, huh? Amen. I've heard of grunts getting saved and get up so because God took it from them. Huh? Come on. Ooh, God touch you. God, she needs you. If you want it tonight, sister, you can get what he has for you. But you got to want it, you got to desire it. Amen. You've got to be serious. You've got to want it. You've got to desire it. Amen. Those that's filled with the Holy Ghost, start, start praying in the Spirit. Lord, just do, do what needs to be done tonight, God. Do what needs to be done tonight, Lord. Lord, I'm sorry. Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way. Do your work, Lord. Do your work, Lord. Take all the desires. Take everything, Lord. The, the, the cravings all tonight, God. Take it in Jesus' name. Take it from tonight in Jesus' name. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, now I want you to ask him to deliver you of everything that you're fighting against this battle. Ask Jesus to deliver you. Let it come from your own mouth tonight. Ask him, amen, everything that's battling you, every temptation, ask the Lord to deliver you from it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody else get another song. Lord, move. Lord, move. Lord, move. God, move. God, move. Lord, move. God, you said, well, sir, we shall bind on earth. Shall be bound in heaven. Lord, I find these things because you give me power in your name to do so. I find these things. Anybody's ever been delivered of a drug and stuff, I want you to stretch your hand for 
I want you to pray now and help me to bind these things in Jesus' name. Come on. Lord, set free. Lord, set free. Lord, Lord, set free. Lord, set free from the things. Lord, just hold the bondage. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Boom. Holy Ghost. Set her free. 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 You say, preach, why are you continuing? Well, because she needs freedom. Come on, how many knows? So, if we don't pray for one another, who's going to pray? Come on. Set her free. Set her free. Have you ever heard that song? Somebody was a praying for me. Set her free.
Sicknesses and all, Lord, you know everything, God. Move for him tonight as she stands in the gap for him tonight, Lord. He was requesting prayer on there earlier, too, Lord. And we just ask God that you move for him tonight, Lord. Move for him, God, in every area, not touch him from the tip of his toes to the top of his head, Lord. Move for him, God, we pray. And we give you the glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Get a hold of his song, Lord, and let her know, God, that he's all right. Let her 
her know, God, that it's okay. The Lord, you give her the faith that she needs to have. She's done more to battle, Lord, to keep you here. She's more to battle, Lord, to keep you here. Her and her mama loves her more to battle, Lord, to keep you here, God. Now I'm asking you strength to come to her, Lord. Help her continue more, Lord, as she steps into them doors, Lord. And it gives an all to you every single day, Lord.
won't. She, she may not take it from you. More likely she won't, but if you can just slip that maybe in her pillowcase or something where she sleeps at it. Let her sleep with that, okay? It's more likely she won't take it. You probably try to get it there. She may throw it at you. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, but just put that in her pillowcase or some contact under, even under her mattress. Just some, something, some contact with her. All right? It's been going, they've been prayed over, and we'll continue praying. And uh, I used to be in a bad shape myself. I used to be in a bad shape myself, and God delivered me. Amen. Yeah. Well, you just pray what God gives you to pray. He understands us. Amen. Just pray all the best that you can. The Lord understands us. Amen. Is there anybody else? Some time ago, wrote a song. Anybody else tonight? It blessed me the moment I heard it. Appreciate everybody coming out, ain't it? John's wanted to help me on the courses. But uh, is there anybody else who uh, needs to cry tonight? We sung it over television. Oh, it's been some months. months Hallelujah. Ago. She said, Brother Stone, I don't know who she was, but she said, You'll never know who she was. I pray that it will bless you tonight. I've never been in this home since before, Danny.
crazy. Like me. Alright. It's okay, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Is anybody else tonight? Praise the Lord. Okay, amen. Is anybody else tonight?